Have you ever stopped to wonder why we feel the way we do and why emotions can be so uncontrollable at times? Emotions, those intricate, powerful, and sometimes overwhelming forces within us, are a fundamental part of the human experience. They can be as unpredictable as a summer storm, as comforting as a warm blanket on a winter's day, or as destructive as a hurricane. They are the invisible threads that weave together our experiences, our relationships, and ultimately our lives. These invisible forces within us, these emotions, serve a purpose. They are our internal compass, guiding us through the labyrinth of life. They can warn us of danger or signal when something is amiss. They can push us to strive for our goals and remind us of the joy in our victories. But like a double-edged sword, emotions can also be our downfall. Unchecked, they can lead us down paths of anger, sadness, and despair. They can cloud our judgment, taint our relationships, and even sabotage our successes. Emotions, in their complexity, can be both our greatest ally and our fiercest adversary. And this is why understanding and controlling our emotions is so crucial. It's not about suppressing them or pretending they don't exist. No, it's about acknowledging them, understanding them, and ultimately guiding them. It's about learning to navigate the storm, not avoiding it. It's about using our emotions as tools, not letting them use us. Controlling our emotions is a skill, an art form even, that requires practice and patience. It's not an overnight transformation, but a journey, a journey of self-discovery, self-awareness, and self-improvement. But why is this journey so important? Because our emotions influence our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our lives. They shape our perceptions of the world and our place in it. They impact our relationships, our careers, and our overall well-being. Understanding our emotions is the first step towards learning how to control them. So let's embark on this journey together exploring the intricacy of emotions and discover how we can become masters of our own emotional worlds. How often do you pay attention to your emotions and how they affect you? This is a question that we often overlook, but it's one that holds significant weight. You see, the power of self-awareness is an influential force in recognizing and understanding our emotions. Imagine self-awareness as the lighthouse in the stormy sea of emotions. It's the guiding light that helps us navigate through our feelings, understand them, and ultimately control them. It's about taking a step back, observing our feelings as they come and go without judgment, and understanding their impact on our actions and reactions. One might ask, why is self-awareness important? Well, consider this. Without self-awareness, we're like a ship in a storm without a compass, tossed around by waves of emotions with no control over our direction. Becoming self-aware is like finding that compass. It's about being mindful of our emotional responses, understanding why we feel a certain way, and then using this understanding to manage our emotions better. It's about recognizing that anger that flares up during a heated discussion, that joy that bubbles up when we're with loved ones, or that anxiety that creeps in during stressful situations. Self-awareness also allows us to identify emotional triggers and patterns. It helps us realize that certain situations, people, or thoughts provoke specific emotional responses. With this knowledge, we can anticipate and prepare for these triggers, ultimately gaining better control over our emotional responses. And let's not forget, self-awareness isn't just about understanding our own emotions. It's also about recognizing the emotions of others, understanding their perspectives, and empathizing with them. This not only improves our interpersonal relationships, but also enhances our emotional intelligence. So how do we become more self-aware? It starts with introspection and reflection. It's about taking time each day to tune into our emotions, understand their origins, and acknowledge their impact on our lives. It's about asking ourselves hard questions and being honest with the answers. Self-awareness is the foundation of emotional control. It's the first step towards mastering our emotions and living a more balanced and fulfilling life. It's a journey that requires patience and practice, but the rewards are well worth the effort. It's time to harness the power of self-awareness and take control of our emotional destiny. Do you ever catch yourself dwelling on past events or worrying about the future? Mindfulness, my dear friends, is the art of bringing one's attention to the experiences occurring in the present moment without judgment it's like a gentle whisper, reminding us to come back to the here and now. 
This practice is a powerful tool that can help us stay present and focused, even amidst the turmoil of our emotions. Picture your mind as a vast ocean. At times, it's calm and serene, while at others, it's turbulent with waves of emotions. Thoughts of the past and worries of the future can create these waves, causing our mind to churn and swirl. But mindfulness is like an anchor, keeping us grounded in the present moment. No matter how stormy our emotional seas may be, mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts and feelings from a distance without getting swept away by them. It's like sitting on the banks of a river, watching the water flow by. We can see the thoughts and feelings, acknowledge their presence, but we don't need to jump in and let them carry us away. This practice can be particularly helpful when dealing with powerful emotions. Often when we experience strong feelings, our instinctive reaction is to suppress them or get carried away by them. But mindfulness encourages us to do something different, to pause and observe our emotions without judgment or resistance. This doesn't mean we ignore our feelings or pretend they don't exist. On the contrary, we acknowledge them, we feel them, but we don't let them control our actions. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can respond thoughtfully. Imagine, for instance, feeling a surge of anger. Instead of lashing out, you take a moment to observe this feeling. You note its presence, you feel it, but you don't let it dictate your actions. You respond with awareness, not react with impulsiveness. And this, my friends, is the power of mindfulness. It's a practice, a journey, and like any journey, it takes time. But with patience and perseverance, it becomes a way of life. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to respond, not react to our emotions. Did you know that your physical state can greatly influence your emotional state? It's a surprising fact, isn't it? But it's true. Our physical health plays a pivotal role in our emotional well-being. When we feel physically good, we are more likely to feel emotionally good as well. Consider exercise, for example. Regular physical activity releases endorphins, the body's natural mood boosters. These feel-good hormones can help to alleviate stress, improve mood, and even combat depression. So the next time you're feeling down, why not go for a brisk walk or a quick jog? You might be surprised at how much better you feel afterwards, but it's not just about exercise. A balanced diet is equally important. Eating a variety of nutrient-rich foods can help to support brain health, regulate mood, and reduce the risk of mental health conditions. Remember, you are what you eat. If you're constantly fueling your body with junk food, it's likely to have a negative impact on your mood and emotions. Instead, aim for a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Your body and your mind will thank you. And let's not forget about sleep. Adequate sleep is essential for emotional well-being. It's during sleep that our bodies repair and rejuvenate themselves. Lack of sleep, on the other hand, can lead to mood swings, irritability, and even depression. So make sure you're getting enough shut-eye. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. In short, physical well-being is not just about looking good or being fit. It's about feeling good, too. It's about having the energy and vitality to enjoy life to the fullest. And most importantly, it's about having the emotional stability to handle life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. So remember to take care of your body. It's the only one you've got. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep are not just good for your physical health. They're good for your emotional health, too. Taking care of our physical health is a crucial part of emotional control. Have you ever noticed how your thoughts can influence your emotions? This question, seemingly simple, holds the key to understanding the power of positive thinking. Our thoughts are the architects of our emotional landscape, painting our world in hues of joy, sadness, anger, or tranquility. Positive thinking is not just about adopting an unfailingly cheerful demeanor. It's about shifting our perspective, reframing our experiences, and choosing to focus on the silver lining rather than the cloud. It's about recognizing that while we cannot always control what happens to us, we can control how we interpret and respond to these events. Imagine you're facing a challenging task. One approach might be to think, this is too difficult, I'll never be able to do it. This thought pattern triggers feelings of anxiety, stress, and self-doubt. But consider a change of thought. What if instead you think, this is a challenge, but I have tackled challenges before, I can do this. Suddenly, the same task becomes less intimidating. Anxiety gives way to confidence and determination. The external situation hasn't changed, 
but your emotional response has, all thanks to the power of positive thinking. However, it's crucial to understand that positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring life's less pleasant situations. It means approaching these situations in a more positive and productive way. It's about believing in your abilities, offering yourself compassion and knowing that setbacks are temporary and surmountable. To harness the power of positive thinking, we must first become aware of our negative thought patterns. These often stem from long-held beliefs we have about ourselves or the world around us. Challenging these negative thoughts, replacing them with positive affirmations and practicing gratitude can help us shift towards a more positive mindset. Remember, positive thinking is a skill. Like any other, it requires practice, patience and persistence, but the rewards are immense. It can help us control our emotions, navigate life's ups and downs with grace and foster a deep sense of well-being. Positive thinking can be a useful tool in our emotional control toolbox. So let's take up this tool and build a more positive, emotionally controlled life. What strategies do you use when you're feeling overwhelmed by your emotions? This question is pivotal in our journey towards emotional control. We all experience a spectrum of emotions and it's crucial to equip ourselves with effective strategies to manage them. One such strategy is deep breathing. It's the body's built-in stress reliever, you know. When we're caught in a turbulent sea of emotions, our breath becomes shallow and quick. By consciously slowing our breathing, we invite calmness to replace the chaos. Inhale deeply, hold for a few seconds and exhale fully. Repeat this process until you feel a sense of calm washing over you. You'll be surprised at how such a simple act can help you regain control over your emotional state. Next up is journaling. Putting pen to paper allows us to make sense of our feelings, especially when they're overwhelming. It's a safe space where we can express our deepest fears, anxieties, joys, and hopes without judgment. Writing our emotions down not only helps us understand them better, but it also provides a different perspective, enabling us to handle them more effectively. And let's not forget the power of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Talking to a trusted friend or family member can be incredibly therapeutic. It's not about seeking solutions or advice, but about being heard, understood, and validated. This simple act of sharing can lighten our emotional load considerably. Lastly, remember that it's okay to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to help us navigate our emotions and equip us with tools to manage them. There's no shame in reaching out when we need it. Let's wrap this up by emphasizing that there's no one-size-fits-all strategy. Each of us is unique and so are our emotional landscapes. What works for one might not work for another, but by experimenting with different strategies, we can discover what suits us best. Having a variety of coping strategies at our disposal can help us manage our emotions effectively. So let's not shy away from exploring these options and taking control of our emotional well-being. Do you often find yourself at the mercy of your emotions? This is a question many of us grapple with and the answer quite often is a resounding yes. But the road towards emotional control as we have learned is not an insurmountable hurdle but rather an enlightening journey. We've delved into the intricate labyrinth of emotions, understanding their complexity and the power they hold over us. We've discussed the importance of self-awareness, that priceless tool that allows us to recognize our emotional states and the pivotal role of mindfulness the art of being present and fully engaged with whatever we're doing at the moment. We've highlighted the significance of physical well-being, a facet often overlooked when discussing emotional control. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep are not just beneficial for your body, but they also play a crucial role in maintaining your emotional equilibrium. We've also talked about the power of positive thinking and how shifting our perspective can have a profound impact on our emotional state. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining, and it's up to us to find it. In the previous scene, we explored various coping strategies for emotional control, from deep breathing and progressive muscle relaxation to cognitive restructuring and problem solving. These techniques are your arsenal in the battle against emotional upheaval. But my dear listeners, it's essential to remember that learning to control emotions is not a one-time event, but a continuous journey. It requires consistent practice, patience, and perseverance. It's okay to stumble, to feel overwhelmed at times. What matters is that you pick yourself up and continue on your journey with renewed vigor. Remember, controlling your emotions is not about suppressing them, but about understanding and managing them effectively. 
It's about letting them serve you rather than you serving them. It's about harnessing their power to enrich your life rather than letting them wreak havoc. It's about becoming the master of your emotions rather than their slave. So embark on this journey towards emotional control. It might be challenging, but it's undoubtedly rewarding. And always remember you're not alone on this journey. We're all in this together, navigating the turbulent seas of emotions, striving for that elusive emotional control. Remember, controlling your emotions is not about suppressing them, but about understanding and managing them effectively. So, are you ready to take control of your emotions? The journey towards emotional control isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about implementing the strategies we've discussed, one step at a time. Start with self-awareness, understanding the intricacy of your emotions. Practice mindfulness, allow yourself to be in the moment. Remember the importance of physical well-being and how it can influence your emotional state. Cultivate a habit of positive thinking and adopt coping strategies that work best for you. Don't be disheartened if progress seems slow. It's okay to stumble, it's okay to falter. And remember, it's perfectly all right to seek professional help if you feel overwhelmed. There's no shame in asking for a guiding hand. This journey is yours. You're not alone on this path. We all strive for emotional control, for the ability to respond rather than react. Remember the power to control your emotions lies within you. It's time to harness that power.